Hello. The topic today I'm going to present on is registering negative adjustments from LS retail point of sale. So what is the need for doing a negative adjustment? So there might be situations in a store where you might have items that may have been either damaged by the employee or maybe the customer or maybe the item is expired or the item you would have to reduce the inventory of the items in the system to that extent. So negative adjustments would be used for that. Now there is uh, another way of making these adjustments from LS retail back office that is through using the store inventory worksheet. Okay, so what am I going to cover in this presentation? So we'll see how to register a negative adjustment from the point of sale, the capability to capture the reason, whether it's theft or damaged or expired or any other reason, maybe some free text, the, the possibility to print the slip, that would be a kind of an acknowledgement. And then finally, we'd see how to create and post a statement and verify the item inventory setup. So the first thing I do is create an info code. So I'm just quickly going to show you. I have already created an info code called negative adjustment. So what's the purpose of this info code? It is used to define or it is used uh, to capture additional information during a transaction. And this would be helpful for reporting purposes. So we know what is the reason for this negative adjustment. Define the code to it, uh, a relevant description. And this is what I want the user to see on the point of sale. So it's going to prompt, okay, please choose a reason. And I am specifying it as a selection where I will have a predefined set of options that uh, will be prompted on the point of sale interface. And I'm keeping it as mandatory. And for that, I have enabled the option as input required. Going to the sub, sub course or the options here, I'm specifying uh, the options here as customer broke, shipment damage, expired, cafe waste, employee broke. And like you may have something called as other reason and create an info code that would be a text and it would just accept anything that the user is going to type in, uh, any other reason which is not there in the above list. The next step would be the capability to trigger this info code. So that can be achieved through POS actions. So I have created a POS action that whenever that would trigger on a negative adjustment, so I'm saying that when, whenever there's a negative adjustment, I want you to call this info code negative neg ADJ, which we have just previously seen. So this is the second configuration and the third configuration I'm going to do is on the POS terminal. This is the terminal I'm going to use. So on this terminal, if I'm going to the printing tab, there is an option called as print receipt for negative adjustment. So I'm going to enable this for uh, the terminal to print the slip for negative adjustment. And quickly, before I start with the process, I'm just going to show you the item that I'm going to sell is cheese. So currently if you see the item Inventory is reflecting as 398. Now I am going to my pause screen, and here there is one additional button which you need to create. Now the button would have an associated command called as neg underscore adg. This is going to call functionality for a negative adjustment and would do the register registration process this is currently in sales mode now if i'm going to click on this button this is going to call the info code which we set up using the pos action all right so i am planning to do a negative adjustment for uh, an item called cheese which is expired so i'm going to select expired and then look up the item and 
that's going to be cheese so this is my item i'm just going to okay and this item is there and uh, i'm going to select here the quantity as three and you see it's registered as it's changed the mode to negative adjustment here and now i'm going to post this all right so looks like it has posted i'm going to quickly review this all right so this is a slip that's going to be printed based on the setup we did on the terminal it says what's the slip number and the item and the quantity okay this looks good now i'm just quickly going to create a statement all right a new statement for my store s Zero two, and I'm going to so it's for today, and I'm going to calculate the statement and say yes. So this is going to calculate the statement, and now that there are no sales transaction, it's not going to populate anything over here. Had that that been, it would populate the uh, the tenders for those. The, the tender collections for those transaction, transactions uh, i'm going to navigate to transactions and just review the transaction which i just made so you see this is negative adjustment which i made and uh, it has an inventory entry so please note that the item ledger entry is not yet updated the item ledger entry is going to be updated only after you post the statement so till that time, it's going to be held in this transaction inventory entries table. And you see this is a three quantity for cheese. And the associated info code is also captured here. That's three indicating that it's expired. All right. So now I'm going to post the statement. And you see S this is my posted statement number so i'm just going to go back to my item and view this and if you notice the inventory now is 395 which previously was 398 so it looks like the inventory is reduced by three quantity that's the adjustment that we have made so if you see here this is a posted statement number s2 and here you see we have adjusted the quantity and reduced that is the whole process of making the negative adjustments from ls retail point of sale hope this video was helpful to you please feel free to reach out if you have any queries or want require any additional support thank you and have a great day thanks for watching this archer point video if you found it helpful make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com additionally if you have any questions regarding our products services or information in this video feel free to email us at info@archerpoint.com at thanks